So I want to drain this swampy area here. And uh, there's this little berm I'm standing on, berm dam, whatever you want to call this, been pushed up here long before I moved in, before I bought the place. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Kubota here and uh, see if we can't dig this out in the middle. recap. So I had the Kubota out and we scraped up a pretty good pile over here and then we uh, started excavating a little ramp coming down to where I'm standing and all that dirt we placed over here and then uh, I just dug straight down with the Kubota. Um, you can't tell but that's about three foot deep that little channel there is. Dug straight down and just dumped that off the end into the little swamp area because um, what was happening was we got two inches of rain, then the next day we got another two inches, then uh, a couple days later another inch and a half. Well, when that little swamp thing fills up, the water flows out right through here, and it washed out behind my trailer. Fortunately, the Kubota was not in the trailer, because I would not be driving it out right now. Since I cut out that little spot on the top of the berm, what has happened is, all the water that's been draining, has been coming across the gravel down here and you can see making quite the mess down here the drive used to come straight across here not anymore now this was uh, greatly exaggerated because last night we got eight inches of rain not excuse me not eight inches nine inches of rain nine inches last night you can see this channel even is making in the gravel it's ridiculous yesterday before the rain, oh, there's some poison ivy. Look at this healthy poison ivy specimen right here. Leaves of three. They've got the distinctive, uh, which one am I looking at? This one here. You can see the little notched, kind of like a mitten shape. Telltale poison ivy. We'll just uh, skirt around that. Anyway, what we've done is we've created this ditch from the berm all the way down to the actual ditch. However, um, Yesterday it wasn't even supposed to rain. They said scattered showers. That was it. And so I got down here to the end to these two uh, cedar trees here. These two here. And they're only about four foot apart. So of course it's just it's just root fest down here. The Kubota couldn't get through it. So there's the berm. And I just dug all this out. And I put the dirt up on this side to make kind of a levee thought that might help a little bit too but just wasn't enough it got down we got all that rain last night and it stopped flowing right here and it washed out a spot you can see it's actually flowing right now washed out a spot right here and that right there is what washed out the uh, berm so bad or not the berm the driveway so today we've come back out and by hand we've just dug this little trench that will drain this straight to the ditch and we'll have to rebuild the drive later so I'm going to dig out the last little bit here and uh, show you guys, turn you guys back on when the water's flowing. Alright, the water just hit the ditch. Got to dig out a little bit better here, but I wanted to get it on as soon as it started flowing. And you can see now the water's going to flow all the way through this channel. And I'm sure it'll wash this spot out here, but I don't give a crap. 
flow out right down into the culvert and go under the driveway, not through the driveway. So, that's flowing very nicely. We'll dig that out deeper and then um, we'll dig out a little more of that berm too and really let that water start coming out. And here's the other side of the culvert and you can see it's flowing nicely now. That's kind of funny, I forgot I actually buried this small tree down here when I filled this thing in. You can see the little waterfall still coming off that. We could fill this with the Kubota, but I'll probably just bother, bother, borrow my father-in-law's bobcat. It'd be a lot quicker for how much dirt I need in. I'll want to get it packed in there good and hard. Yeah. Just more work, right? Always is. It's always something. Well, I cheated a little bit. I had this out here doing some other things and decided it'd be pretty good to use it to drain the swamp. So if you remember, there was this tree sitting right here, and that tree is now over here in the horizontal position. Um, it's going to be a lot easier without that tree gone. And I just got this whole hillside here sloped down nicely to the uh, this ditch here that we've created. And uh, it's draining out nice again. Little by little, I'm getting this thing drained and just letting the dirt dry back out and coming back in and uh, digging it out a little bit deeper. And I think I got it deep enough now to where you can see this little waterfall here. That's about uh, at least 10 inches or a foot. So I think it's enough now that that'll finish draining out. And then once it does, we're going to take all this dirt here and put it back on the other side and kind of just grade this whole gully back in normally so that it just flows out of here. Um, tons of mosquitoes because of this thing and I'm just sick of them. So anyways, uh, if you guys like this, please comment, rate, subscribe. Stay tuned for more adventures with the uh, Kubota.